hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Heisman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with y'all what I keep in my gym bag. I love going to the gym. It is seriously like my happy place. I, I don't know why because I don't love working out, but I just love going to the gym. So I thought I'd show y'all what I take with me because y'all seem to really like my what's in my bag videos and I'm just really excited. I feel like I finally nailed what goes in my gym bag. So I'm gonna show this with y'all and show you the bag I use and even the workout clothes I'm wearing today. If you like this kind of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me know what kind of videos you wanna see more of and that you like this kind of content. If you're not already subscribed, it would really help me out if you click that subscribe button and then you can click that bell icon and you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video, which is Mondays and Thursdays. So let's dive in. Okay, so the bag that I'm using is actually a carry-on bag. It is from Calpac and it is this like pink vegan leather. I really wanted a pink gym bag. I really wanted a gym bag that didn't look too like a normal just sport utilitarian duffel bag. So I thought this was perfect and it does double as my carry-on if I'm gonna travel and I wanna bring some gym stuff. So it's a great bag. It has like a nice front strap. It did come with a over the shoulder strap, but I took it off because I just like to use these handles. It has a trolley pass through, a place for your phone, and just lots and lots of pockets inside. So starting off out here, I actually don't have anything in here except hand sanitizer. I use my phone to check into the gym, but before I used to have like a card and I would keep that in here just for easy access. And then there is also just like random band-aids and trash because this is a realistic what I keep in my gym bag. This is actually what's in here. So then opening it up, inside I have a water bottle. I hate lukewarm water. It has to be ice cold. So I always fill this up with ice before I go to the gym and then fill it up with the gym taps like the water fountains but there has to be ice in it or I'm just miserable. I did order like a straw cap for this. It should come in today because sometimes I like choke on the ice because it is like, it's a little bit wider mouth of a water bottle, but that should be coming today. I love the yellow. It's just super fun and positive. Reminds me of sunshine and you're not gonna get this confused with someone else's. Next up, I have wallet and keys, kind of the normal. These travel between my purse and my gym bag. Then I also keep a pair of sunglasses in here for when I'm driving. These are just a very cheap pair. I think I got them from Target. They were like maybe $10, but they're a dupe for my favorite Ray-Ban sunglasses. So I just like to throw these on after a workout. I'm really sweaty. I don't want people to see me and I also don't want to deal with the sun. So I throw these on. I also have an inhaler. This is just a regular albuterol inhaler. I do have asthma and Working out can be kind of hard, so I like to always have this on me. I think I have another one hidden in here too as a backup, and normally I do take this with me around to the gym. This doesn't stay in my locker. Oh gosh, these are the workout masks that I loved using, the Lululemon ones. Because of my asthma, I feel like I'm suffocating if I wear certain masks. So I found that these were great. California has lifted the mask requirement, so my gym no longer requires a mask, but I like to have one in here just in case if I'm running somewhere after the gym and I need to wear a mask or if I wanna throw one of these on. It's just nice to have, especially even though COVID's ending, it's still not gone. Next up are electronic items for the gym. I keep a phone charger with me in case my phone dies because I cannot work out without music. And also my phone is how I check into the gym. So if I don't have this charged, I can't get in. So this is just a Morphe. It's pretty old. I don't think they sell this exact one anymore, uh, but I just keep it charged whenever I remember and I rarely have to use it. And then another backup fit, like sort of on the lines of like backup electronics, I have my old pair of AirPods, which somehow remain charged for like the longest time when I don't use them. And again, this is if something happens to the AirPods they bring or if they're dead, these are my backup pair. Now my phone and my AirPod Pros are always with me at the gym, but I don't normally keep them in my gym bag when I'm not using it because I'm using my phone and I'm using my AirPods. So again, these kind of travel between my bag. I'm a big fan of the AirPod Pros over the regular AirPods because they have these like, I don't know, these like earbud parts. And I had a really bad problem with my old AirPods would always get like clogged. Like, I sweat, earwax gets in them, but I feel like with this, it's a lot easier to just wipe them off after every time. And I'm not as concerned about them getting really sweaty. So I don't love the noise cancellation. It almost gives me like a pressure headache, but I really like the fit of these. So I will get the disclaimer. So I go to, the gym I go to is called Equinox and it does have like everything you could need. So like extra hair ties, 
Q-tips, lotions, shampoo, towels. It's really, really nice and it removes a lot of the barrier to working out. Like, oh, I don't have a towel with me after work. I do still carry some toiletries with me because I either have a preference or they don't provide exactly what I need. But for the most part, my gym bag is pretty light because Equinox takes care of a lot of things. So I do have in here just a change of clothes. Sometimes after the gym, I'm really, really sweaty and I wanna go in the sauna and I do not wanna put on my sweaty gym clothes on after like going in the sauna. That sounds horrible to me, like putting on damp leggings. Ugh. So this is just a pair of shorts and a tank top. Nothing cute, nothing fashionable. And I don't use this every single time. It's sort of just in there in case I decide I want to take a shower or I want to go in the sauna or I have to go somewhere after and I can't be like dripping in sweat. So I just keep this in here kind of for emergencies. Not for emergencies, I keep this in here but I wouldn't say I like update it every single time I go to the gym because I'm not using it all the time. Hairbrush, pretty self-explanatory. After I shower, I wanna brush my hair. In here, I just keep shower shoes. I like to keep them in this bag so that if they're kind of wet or gross, they're not touching anything else. And then I will also wear these if I don't feel like putting my sneakers back on. But for the most part, no, actually I don't do that. Yeah, so these are mostly just shower shoes. Don't, I don't think I've ever worn them outside, but it's like if I had to, I could. I feel like there was something else in here. I was like, ooh, I need to talk about that. What am I forgetting? <laughs> um, so this is my little toiletries bag. I carry just a few things with me. Again, they have shampoo, conditioner, all that fun stuff. They do have deodorant. I like to bring my own because the deodorant, the deodorant they have is a little bit more masculine smelling and I'm just really picky. So I have some deodorant in here. I have some dry shampoo, some hand sanitizer sunscreen oh my god equinox if you could provide just one more thing it'd be sunscreen and i literally wouldn't have to bring a toiletry bag at all but they don't and sunscreen is a deal breaker for me i always have to be wearing it so i have this in here even if i'm not washing my face after workout i feel like i probably sweat off the sunscreen so i, I reapply every time after the gym like a little i have contacts an extra pair of contacts just in case and i have to drive home from the gym can't drive without my contacts. A tiny little Chloe perfume. I rarely use this. I don't like to spray perfume in big public places, but it is nice if I have to go somewhere after. And then some lip balm. And I do have a silk hair scrunchie. They do have hair ties at the gym, but I like my silk ones, so I'm just kind of picky. <laughs> and then lastly, I just keep this in here so that I never forget it. It is a lock. So before Equinox was at Lifetime, they had locks in the doors, but if I'm traveling, I often forget to like pack a lock. The only thing with this though is like I was at a gym in Minnesota and they definitely didn't have locks on the door and it took me a good five minutes to remember the combination. So I don't really know how useful this is, but it did come in handy because I didn't want to leave my like keys and phone just unlocked. So I like to keep this in here. Nice to have for travel. So that was everything in my gym bag today. I'm actually about to go to the gym in like 15 minutes for a training session and I'm super excited. I feel so cute. This is actually what I'm wearing. This is my new favorite athletic wear set. I think it's my favorite set I've ever had. It is from Fabletics, which I am shocked about. I did not think Fabletics would become my new favorite activewear brand. I'm not sponsored at all by them. I did do a video giving my honest review. I just really like the brand and I think these are so cute. They have these flower vines on them and there is a matching bra underneath that I think is so cute and then just this white tank top on top and I'll throw on some trainers. I have my Apple Watch with my pride band. This was from like 2019 but it's June so I just kind of leave this on all month. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you keep in your gym bag in the comments down below. If there's anything I'm forgetting, please let me know. I'm constantly trying to be as prepared for the gym as I possibly can so I have no excuses not to go. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out as a small content creator and I'm really trying to grow. So giving me a like or subscribing to my channel would mean the world to me and you can join my group of friends that I chat with every Monday and Thursday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.